Story time and time for tea. Hello, welcome back to Storytime Anytime, friends. Thank you for joining us. Now, today's story is about a dog, a different type of dog, and it's also a book that's part of a collection. It's called Dante the Wonder Chief Visits the Vet. It's written by Georgina Puglusi. Let's go have a listen. Dante the Wonder Chief Visits the Vet. While Dante was playing outside, he was stung by a bee. His nose is now swollen and painful. Poor little Chi. It's now time for Dante to visit the vet. He is quite worried and begins to fret. He doesn't like these visits. They make him sweat. Poor Dante. The bee sting has to be checked by the vet. Mum picks him up and carries him to the car. The journey to the vet is not very far. To keep him safe, Mum puts his belt on tight. Not a happy chappy, such a sad sight. His look is glum, his head is down. I'm sure if you look closely, you will see a frown. It doesn't take long to arrive at the vet. I'm sure Dante thinks he flew in a jet. Hello, says a nice lady behind the front desk. How is Dante today? Dante wants no part of this. He bows his head lower and just looks away. You are on time, says the lady. But we are running late. Poor Dante just sits there thinking about his fate. The waiting area is full, so it might be a long wait with all sorts of animals who are not feeling great. He looks at the cat that is to his right. He cannot be bothered to growl, let alone bite. He looks to his left and sees a very big dog. He would usually be scared, but his brain is in a fog. Sitting quietly is the lady with the fluffy brown bunny. She wears big red glasses and has blue hair that looks funny. More animals keep coming through the door. Some are big and some are small. Some have bandaged paws and legs and others have cones on their heads. Dante won't smile and doesn't say boo. He is worried about what the vet will say and do. The vet is a nice man. He wears a white coat over a blue top. He calls out Dante's name. Now his ears start to flop. Dante! He starts to tremble as he is placed on the table. He would run out of there so fast if he was able. The vet looks at the beasting and does a general checkup. The examination has begun. Poor little pup. He checks his teeth his eyes and his swollen nose, his ears, his tummy and cuts the nails on his toes. He gives him medicine and puts a bandage on his nose. This will help Dante with some of his woes. All is good, says the vet. Dante is healthy and quite fit. Here is a treat, little fella. Please sit. See you next time says the vet with a wave. Oh, Dante, you were so brave. Phew, the ordeal is over. The horror is done. Dante can now start to have some more fun. Back in the car sits the happiest Chi. Now he can play, run and zoom around free. No more frowning and definitely not glum. Dante can now give a smile to his mum. Back in the garden plays one happy Chi, all happy now and very carefree. He rolls in the grass and chases his tail. He even waits for the postman to deliver the mail. Be careful, Dante, shouts his mum. Keep away from those bees. 
If you get stung again, back to the vet you will go with me. We hope you enjoyed that story and be sure to join us next time. Bye.